Hey, how's it going guys? I am jumping right into attempting to make jerky because I love making jerky. I've done it many times on my Brinkman. So I want to see how the Traeger compared. Um, I'm trying something I haven't tried before where I'm actually rinsing my marinade um, before I throw it on with half and then I'm going to leave the other on half just because I know I like it. Uh, it does end up being usually a very sticky if you leave it in the very terry. I'm doing basically just thin cut London broil. I throw in my very terry teriyaki and then depending on how much I basically add brown sugar until it's got a nice sweetness to it but that can make it very sticky which is why I'm attempting uh, the rinse this time I've read a couple things online about it we'll see how much I like it but I want to make sure I at least had a few pieces that I, I knew I was really gonna enjoy it's just the stickiness is kind of annoying I'll usually add some black pepper and red peppers to these um, well not all of them but like a good half of them just so I have like a spicy batch but for this one, I'm not making a, a large amount. So basically what I'm gonna do, I'm throwing it in the Traeger at the lowest it'll go, which is 165. I'm just trying to get a nice mesquite flavor to it. And then I don't really have any guidelines on when I'm gonna pull it off. I'm just gonna have to keep checking it until it looks right. I'm gonna take it off and finish it in the dehydrator. All right guys, so I've been smoking for about an hour now. As you can see, Really nice red color from the mesquite. I've seen a lot of recipes online call for, so this is my first time smoking on the trigger as far as jerky goes. Um, call for leaving these things on for the full four to five hours, which seems excessive to me. Um, my wife isn't huge on overly smoked flavor, so I think an hour is about enough based off of everything I'm looking at. Like, I definitely got good penetration with the smoke. I figure it's gonna have a nice, nice smoky flavor. So at this point, I'm gonna go ahead, take it all off and throw it in the dehydrator and finish. I basically finish until the meat itself is still pliable. I don't want it to be too dry. I like it still to be a little chewy. So um, I'll go ahead and probably do one more video after I pull it out of the dehydrator and kind of show you what I'm working with. As you can see, the ones I left the uh, original marinade on, they definitely are way more tacky. All the fat has rendered really nicely. Oh, no. yeah. We'll see, we'll see. 